Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to transfer your Digimon to and from your device and how to avoid all the error codes that people have been getting. Apologize for the bad audio, I'm just using my phone to record this as opposed to my mic. So what you'll need for the transfer is the DIM card corresponding with the Digimon that you're transferring, your watch and a mobile device that has an NFC connection. So to start things off, I'm going to come down to scan down here. So on the screen there, we see that Japanese kanji down there, which means transfer. So before I do anything, I just want to come over to the watch and just make sure I have my app open. I'm also going to just check that my phone has my NFC connection on. So once all that's set up, we just press transfer. I'm going to hold the watch to the phone. So as you see, Digimon's after transferring properly there. Now to be careful when you're setting this up, some people are getting an empty tag error code. I had that a few times myself. The issue comes up when the watch is too close to the NFC connection and you haven't pressed the app button to start the touch connection. So I'll just demonstrate that here. And then you get that empty tag error. So to avoid that, just keep both devices separated until you're actually wanting to transfer. So the second thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to transfer them back to the watch. So come down to scan again. I'm going to set up here on the watch just to go to app, keeping it away from the phone again. Dim card check. Now touch them. So now we have dim install check. I'm just going to press that. And my watch says touch, so that means I'm going to touch it. Now we have transfer, so while there's one dot blinking, we're going to press transfer and hold it up. And then we transfer it back to the watch. So sometimes when you get to the part where it says dim install check, it might actually ask you to insert the dim on the watch. All you do is just insert the corresponding dim, wait for it to tell you to pull it out. When touch comes onto the watch, then you hold it up to the phone. And then you can press transfer on the next screen when you've got the one dot blinking and then Digimon transfer like normal. So that's the second error that you'd normally get is in around there is where people have problems. Um, hopefully it works for you. If it did, uh, leave a like and a comment and just let me know if it didn't also leave me a comment and I'll try to help you out Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye